move. Please tell it. It's no. well and truly alive and kicking. And it's going by public transport. A bus driver has been voted a runaway success after he decided to spread a bit of festive cheer onto the county's roads. It's bus driver Steve Foster's own version of Ding Dong Merrily on the High that's caused a stir with the passengers who travel on his daily trips around the Bishop Auckland area. The Eden Bus Company, which has been operating in Durham since 1926, prides itself on being a friendly, family-run firm. But Eden directors there were astounded when Steve turned Father Christmas and decked his bus out like a mobile grotto. It's provoked quite a lot of uh, public interest. We've had letters and telephone calls from people commenting on uh, how refreshing it is to see somebody entering into the Christmas spirit so well. Stephen has done this on his own initiative. Uh, he's provided all the decorations himself and uh, we've been pleased to support him. It's now becoming so popular, local youngsters have dubbed it Santa's bus. Word has spread about the Christmas vehicle. No, I wouldn't expect it. I read about it like, but I wouldn't expect it. When it does it, it's the time of the year. It's, you know, it's more cheery and, uh, you know, seasonal. Uh, it's lovely. Cheese everybody up. It's a brighter colour, though, yeah. It makes it like the Christmas, isn't it? It makes it feel more like Christmas. Lovely, isn't it? To Steve, it's all part of the service. He's paid for all the decorations himself, with a bit of help from local shops. Well, I do it because I think the passengers deserve it, you know, the ones that always support us. I I've noticed uh, around the areas there are a few attempts, but I mean, they don't go what I call over the top like this. They don't make it look nice, you know. Just a bit of snow on the windows, it's not right. You're, if you've got to do it, you do it right. Make other people happy, you know. It's the main thing to look forward to, isn't it? At the end of the year, you have a bad year, and then Christmas is the time to sort of forget it all and get out and have a good time. Steve's planning to keep the decorations up until 12th night. In the meantime, it looks like Christmas tradition on the buses is catching on, with other drivers joining in the festive fun. <laughs> Well, good, 